So what you saying? Money. Get out my business. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Identity Booth. We are your host, Hero Eric. Y'all know how we do. Thanks for rocking with us again. We got a great story for y'all. Now, if y'all live under a rock and y'all don't know the, literally who America's dad was for like 15 years, this man's been locked up for like two of them over some allegations that he may or may not have performed some sexual improprieties with a unsuspecting young lady. It's about as clean as I can keep it for the uh, social media algorithms. But you know that is Mr. William Cosby, Dr. Cosby. He has been released from the tank on a technicality legally, but I'm all for the law working in the favor of of somebody when it actually should work so the story is bill cosby was settling in a civil suit admitted to giving drugs to a woman don't know what that means i don't know if she willingly took them or he did not give her an option either way y'all can think what y'all want about that but settled the civil suit and that information was used to prosecute him even though he had signed what, what they're calling on the tv and interwebs a sweetheart deal with the district attorney that anything that he admitted to uh, according to his his fifth amendment right to not incriminate himself would not be used to prosecute him and this is why he is now released from prison because such deal was signed he did have a fifth amendment right to not incriminate himself and he did not incriminate himself because it was not a criminal case. It was a civil case. And so here he is out on the streets and all kinds of people are in a stink, in an uproar about it, man. Hero, are you in an uproar? Are you, are you in a stink about him being released from the, from the tank? There's a part of me that, um, that wanted to be upset about this. And I still am upset about this. But you got to understand. Black people, we rarely get this type of W's in the in the legal justice oh, system. Oh man, yo, here yo, we go. Hey, here now, we hey, go. Now hear me out. <laughs> if, uh, allegations oh, aside, all like just from the moral aspect of it, yo, it just mm -hmm. it's bad optics. It's bad fucking optics. But for who? Wanna, for 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 Bill, it's just bad optics. Like you, drugs, women. People being passed out, women being carried out by your security guards, put in taxi cabs and say, go to Southtown. Like, that's just all bad. But if you, you're not about to sit here and tell me that because of his actions, I can't enjoy the Bill Cosby show anymore. I can't enjoy yeah. kids say the darnest things anymore. I can't Bad enjoy. Albert. I can't enjoy Fat Albert no more. You're not about to take that from me. Y'all had me going for a little bit with R. Kelly, but I still believe I can fly. There's no, Ooh. there's no way I'm letting you take that away from me. So, yeah. I think about Jeffrey Dahmer and uh, the BT, the the all these killers, and uh, who's the one I'm thinking about? Uh, the Suave one. Uh, who's the guy? What's his name? The most notorious serial killer. It, it, his name is gonna come to me, and it's gonna. You said, uh, you're talking about we got Dahmer, we got the Unabomber, we got... No, he man. killed seven women. I'm about to Google his name. He killed seven women. He, they always called him handsome. You know who I'm talking about. Ted Bundy. Thank you so much, yeah. Keisha. Ted Bundy. And they swear up and down that Ted Bundy was this fine, suave dude. Have you seen a picture of Ted Bundy? He is not a good-looking man. He is not a good-looking man. Stop that noise but that's the that's the talking point that they'll use for their abusers so i'm not even giving him praise for for being like this legend i'm just happy he's not gonna die in the shell and i'm also happy that the criminal justice system worked in his favor he did his time the man is out no actually he didn't he he did in an excess of time Exactly. Thank you. Yes. Say it. Say it for the yeah. people in the back. He did an excessive time because, as it stands today, he pled guilty for something that he could not be charged with. Yeah. 
So I can, I, like I said, the optics are bad, but if you're going to use Daquan and Uncle Pookie and them to make me feel guilty about whenever they rob a, a liquor store or blow up some fucking crack house, hey, when we do good and the justice system works in our favor, so be it. I can name at least 17 rich-ass white kids in Lubbock, Texas who did a hit and run, got to their house, slept it off, woke up, turned themselves in and said, you can't prove I was drunk when I hit this person. It wasn't a DUI, and therefore, it, you can't charge me with DUI, so I must be let free to go. And that kid hit somebody and killed somebody and got away with it, and there's nothing we could do. So, if, I'm not saying it's perfect, but you're not about to sit here and demonize me for watching a man make it. And I hope he buys that goddamn TV show, uh, that damn TV network you want to buy. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Since you brought it up, I didn't want to go there. But doesn't it seem ironic that in 1992 he tr he tries to buy NBC, mm -hmm. and then later on he tries to buy the network again, and the Federal Trade Commission approved this now, both times, and then NBC seemed to weasel themselves out of the deal. And what is it about this? And think and think about this. Now he admitted to some, or all, I don't think necessarily all, maybe with that just that specific person. Yeah, I gave you Quaaludes. That again, what does that mean? Did he take the pill and put did it he in shove her it hand down your she, mouth? Yeah, and she shoved it, or did he crush it up and put it in her drink when she when she wasn't looking? I don't think that ever came out. Maybe I missed it. If y'all got some, let us know. But this is what I'm talking about: the lack of due process for this guy, and the things that he was talking about. Hey, man, p be responsible look respectable pull your pants up be hey do something uh better with your life than, than just being a bum he was talking to black men about black men coming along he owns a network what images could he put up of black folks mm -hmm. no nah, we can't have that we, mm -hmm. oh no we can't have that yeah but i'm just saying you know and again look at this beautiful sister you don't put up her name this is america's mother that I've gotten older, yeah. but she is aged so beautiful. And she and she and and people beautiful. was giving her people giving her shit because she was happy to see but her she, friend, her but, but her she, fucking husband of fifteen years. If you want to be real, her husband of fifteen years got out of jail, and people mad about her celebrating she's free. Like you, you also have to put into context like what this Dude, means can, because like can, when, can, when but, but bro, just a second believe, just like age, uh, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you this HBCU thing. I'm, I'm gonna give you a second here the the fact is when they decided to discard the bill cosby show they did more than affect bill cosby they took money out of her pocket theo huxtable all those people on that tv show i don't even know they, the raven and all of them see i don't even know their real names i just know them as Malcolm their tv Jamal kids Warner, <laughs> they took Bernays. money out of all those people's pockets man and and no no one said dang that's messed up at least with r kelly's music it was r kelly's music but by denouncing bill cosby's actions you automatically affect other people so like that was the part that really was baffling me because I, I, hey i'm not gonna let them guilt me into not watching uh there was the three big the big three uh pop pop uncle phil and bill cosby man they raised a generation of black men and women and you're not about to take that from me man you're not about to take that from me. I, I hate this. I mean, think I, I look at I, I look at uh, Felicia Rashad, and I see what Howard University is doing or how they treating her, and they're reprimanding her for something that she didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, <Olivia>. yeah. <laughs> okay, I take that back. She didn't hold to the. The narrative that they wanted her to mm -hmm. hold to is to denounce and castigate this guy for being a scumbag. She doesn't know Bill Cosby as a scumbag. She didn't have that experience. And let's just keep it a buck. Mm. If Bill Cosby was going to be a scumbag to any woman that he encountered, mm. it was going to be Clara Huxtable. Let's just keep it a buck. Like, you know, I'm disappointed in the HBCU for this she, again she is the dean of the fine arts department there and on top of that she don't have to this is her giving back she's america's mother for a whole generation of people 
who's sending their kids to this university, especially the fine arts students, they have gotten the lecture about this woman, that they know who she is and who her sister is and how they done held it down for that. You, I mean, this is, this is crazy. Mm. I, I, I don't get it, bro. It's, it's, really, it's really baffling me, especially because the, the, the law was actually upheld in this instance. And I be tripping. What's and why are black people on a million about this dude getting released? Cause they, cause anyway, I'm not going. I'm not going to go down that road, hero. Let me let me get out of my soapbox. <laughs> it's it's uh, the questions. The questions that you want to ask or like you want to be part of it. Like whatever your reasons are. Like I'm interested to hear them. But moreover, like yo, life's too short to be sitting here. Uh, not enjoying any aspect of your life and 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 if i say this and this makes your butthole pucker up i'm talking about you stop letting white people take black people joy a bunch of white people a bunch of a bunch of angry white people can cannot don't have the right to take our joy i'm not going to let the i'm not going to let this this shit ride anymore yo black people don't get to cheer about much in this godforsaken country stop trying to take our goddamn joy with that being said there's a multitude of places you can find us. But for all those other places, yo, I'm going to give you the straight up facts. Twitch is where we live now. And shout out to you guys because we just hit the 100 comment uh, roll off. And we got eight people hey. watching with us. Hey. Twitch loves us. Follow. Shout out to Fat Mac. He just followed on channel. I bet you he was trying to figure out with them little ass fingers where to push the follow button. I appreciate you doing that for me, Fat Mac. <laughs> but for everybody else, hey, we have subs. We got tears. We got things that we like to give away. We like, uh, you know, our emojis and all that good stuff. Come join us in that set. Continue to mess with us. But if you don't have Twitch, you don't want to get on, you know, the whole bus i get it because you know subscribing if you have a prime membership just gives us a free a free check from Be uh, daddy uh bezos you know papa bezos you know he messes with us twitch don't mess with our algorithm so that's why we love to nah. be on here but mm -hmm. if you don't mess with us you can always hit us up on youtube we love you guys there facebook twitter tiktok we going in man we're everywhere like visa you can find us anywhere but for all that good stuff uh continue to support us we appreciate you eric you closing Hey man, just remember, due process still works in this country, man. Hey, listen, I am innocent until you can prove me otherwise. Remember that. You ain't got no proof. I ain't trying to hear it. Y'all take care, man. Next. But it's so hard to find through the daily grind. We're working overtime. And I'm sleep deprived. Shorty on my line and we feel some fights. Seems like every night. Wrong or right, I hope the end is like slow it down and we can catch the vibes. The vibes.